There are five countries that receive continuous sunlight or continuous darkness, at some point every year. Finland experiences no sunlight during its winter. Sweden has constant sunshine for nearly six months. The sun doesn't set at all in Alaska from late May to late July. In Iceland the sun never fully sets and travels horizontally across the horizon throughout the night. Also in Iceland, there is no darkness from early May till July, because sun is above the horizon at all times during that period. And Canada sees continuous sunlight for about 50 days in the summer, in places like Inuvik and the Northwest Territories. Sweden is said to be nearly 2,000 miles south of the North Pole. The Earth's diameter is said to be nearly 8,000 miles. So the distance from Sweden to the North Pole would equal up to about 25% of the Earth's diameter. Yet the distance from Alaska to New Zealand is about 7,300 miles and nearly accounts for accounts for all of the Earth's physical surfaces, excluding a few islands I may not have named. So saying that the Earth's diameter is 8,000 miles, interestingly aligns with the stretch of the Earth's surface. Now, let's talk about the oceans for a moment. First, the Pacific Ocean alone is nearly 9,000 miles wide, the Indian Ocean is nearly 7,000 miles, the Atlantic Ocean is nearly 3,000 miles wide between Africa and the United States, and the Arctic Ocean is nearly 1,500 miles wide. All of these oceans are eerily still in the scope of the Earth's alleged diameter of 8,000 miles and therefore does not account nor need to account for any alleged bulge of a ball. The Earth is perfectly horizontal and the oceans and the continents all fit within the scope of the Earth's diameter. Now moving back to sun zones. One thing I found interesting about the five countries that either receive continuous sunlight or continuous darkness is, they all lie at the north of their continents as pictured on my diagram. Globe Earth believers like to say that the North Pole and the South Pole are interchangeable. But if that were true, why are there no countries in the south of the continents, experiencing months of sunlight or months of darkness? The alleged Antarctic South Pole is a lot colder than the alleged Arctic North Pole, because based on my diagram, they clearly cannot be what they say they are and they are not interchangeable. If they were, again, countries in the south of the continents would also experience months of sunlight or months of darkness. Globe Earth Fail